Imagine being able to spend your free time wading the beautiful blue waters of the world. Imagine just owning a yacht that you could use whenever you like and just traveling to another shore in it. Well, that's exactly how the lives of the royals are, and we shall be taking a quick look at a few yachts owned by Arab royals. Hello folks and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how the Arab royals have splurged their billions to get their hands on some fabulous yachts. The Arab royals have been blessed with riches, and they always spend their millions and billions quite lavishly. So, let's indulge in getting to know the various massive and extravagant yachts owned by these royals by starting with the Al Sayyid which was formerly owned by the former Sultan of the Sultanate of Oman. The Al Sayyid is said to have cost the king a whopping $300 million and in most days is docked at the Mutra port in Muscat. The big order for this yacht was made in 2006 and by 2008 it was delivered to the king. The king did not want anyone to know about this project and hence nicknamed it Project Sunflower. The shipbuilding company Lursen helped create this yacht, which also happened to be the second longest yacht in the world at that point in time. The yacht is said to accommodate a whopping 154 members on board as well as 70 guests. Furthermore, it can also accommodate a 50-piece orchestra aboard its vessel. Another mention-worthy yacht that's owned by an Arab royal is the Serene, which is owned by Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. If you know MBS and his various antics, you definitely would know that the man doesn't hesitate to spend his big bucks. The Serene is said to have cost him $300 million and is one of the largest private yachts to hit the blue waters on planet Earth. The yacht includes multiple pools all across its vessels and also comes with two helipads, just in case someone wishes to crash a party or is late to a party on this vessel. The yacht also encompasses a dance floor and a spa. You can also find playrooms aboard this vessel. Quite a few people are quite amazed at this yacht and just wish to get an opportunity to get on board it. A few summers back in 2014, Bill Gates hired Serene from MBS and paid him rent of $5 million per week to use the yacht. Another fact that has been reported about this yacht is that it has the Salvador Mundi of Da Vinci displayed in it. We have all heard of the city Dubai, but have you heard of a yacht with the same name? Well, there does exist a yacht called the Dubai and is owned by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum who made this big purchase for a massive $400 million. The chief designer of this yacht Baum and Voss put in all their hard work to make this masterpiece of a yacht. Just like most luxurious yachts, this yacht, too, houses a huge helipad. Apart from that, it also houses VIP lounges as well as spaces reserved for social meetings and gatherings for the guests on board. The yacht can accommodate around 155 people. The best part about this yacht is the mosaic pools that it comes with, so if a helicopter is to land on the helipad, they would get quite an amazing view of this beautiful pool. The Topaz is another super yacht that's owned by Arabian royalty, Sheikh Mansour. The yacht is said to have cost him a massive $527 million, but the price was truly worth paying, as all the amenities on board as well as the interiors and exteriors all radiate elite vibes. The Topaz was built by Lursen in 2012, and the views that one can witness from this yacht are simply picturesque. The yacht is so huge that it accommodates eight decks that have been designed in such a way that the guests on board can just stare out into the beauty of nature and just enjoy the serenity that it presents at that moment. The yacht also encompasses two helipads, a movie theater, and a gym. It also comes with some pretty cool features such as underwater lighting. You can also find a conference room aboard this yacht where various conferences take place. Quite recently, the Topaz was renamed to A+. Well, it surely is an A+, super yacht. Next up, we have the Azam which was bought by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan for $600 million. This yacht is quite long and is 180 meters in length. It also happens to be one of the fastest yachts in the world. French designer Christophe Leone worked quite hard on designing the yacht to be the best of his abilities, and the yacht was built in three short years, which was quite a record. The yacht can hold 36 guests quite comfortably, as well as a crew of 60 members. The running costs of this yacht are massive, and the owner has to shell out $60 million per annum just for the upkeep of the yacht. Prince Abdulaziz is another beautiful yacht that's owned by the royal family of Saudi Arabia. It is 147 meters long and it was given the title of the longest and tallest yacht in the past. Helsinger Werft in Helsinger, Denmark built this yacht and did a fantastic job with it. The yacht can accommodate around 60 to 65 individuals on board and King Fahd of Saudi Arabia was the first to own this yacht. It was then passed down to the royal family and is used by them. The Al Salama yacht was owned by Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz and it cost him $200 million. 
But after the prince passed away, it was used by others from the royal family, making it unclear who exactly owns the yacht. The yacht houses a spa, a gym, a hospital, a business center, and a cinema, and there also happens to be two beticians on board who work full-time here. The Quetzal yacht owned by Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is another yacht that we cannot miss talking about. This yacht comes with a length of 86 meters and can house 12 guests across the six cabins that are present on board. The crew members have 14 cabins, and these cabins can accommodate 20 crew members. The most unique feature of this yacht is the gym, as this gym was designed by the famous athlete Usain Bolt. The yacht also encompasses pools and spaces for various activities. But all this comes at a running cost of somewhere between $15 million and $20 million per annum. The Quatrol yacht is often accompanied by its support ship, the Quatrol Shadow. The Smeralda yacht is another yacht that's owned by Sheikh Hamdan. This yacht is 77 meters in length, which is quite long. It also comes with six cabins for the guests and 12 cabins for the crew members. This yacht cost the Crown Prince a whopping $75 million. And if we were to take a look at the annual running costs, all that lies somewhere between $5 to $8 million. Now let's take a look at the Emir of Qatar and take a look at his beautiful yacht. Al Lusail is the yacht that he owns and was again built by Lursen. H2 Yacht Design in March and White helped design the interiors and exteriors of this yacht. The yacht is quite strong and robust, all thanks to the high-grade aluminum and teak that were used to build this yacht. Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, on the other hand, owns a 124-meter long yacht called the Katara. This yacht cost him a whopping $400 million. This too was built by Lursen and was designed by Espen Ueno. The yacht can accommodate 60 crew members and 28 guests. As for the running costs of this vessel, it is said to lie somewhere between $25 million to $40 million per annum. The Qatari royal family owns the Al Merkab, which was formerly owned by Hamad bin Hasim bin Haber Al Thani, Qatar's former prime minister and foreign minister. The yacht came at a price of $250 million and is quite huge. It can accommodate 24 guests across the various suites that are present on board. Speaking of suites, there are 10 luxurious suites on board the vessel as well as two VIP suites in which Hamad usually resides. The yacht also comes with jacuzzis and swimming pools. American glass sculptor Dale Chihuly was privileged enough to put up an art display of his on this yacht. The hand-cut crystal panels embedded in the staircase further add to the luxurious look that the yacht radiates. Now that's all we have time for today, so we shall see you in our next video. To support our channel by dropping this video a like, hitting the bell icon, and subscribing to our channel. Bye guys and see you soon!